uh, what's up guys so uh, in the previous lecture we were discussing the equation of trajectory and i derived the equation of trajectory as pi is equal to x ten theta minus g x square upon two u square cos square theta now i gave you a question uh, if you I, i'm sorry i was not able to complete the question let me complete the question so question is uh if the range of projectile is r and initial angle of throw is theta what is the height when the projectile has moved r by 4 horizontally okay so this is the question so how to go about the solution i'll i'll rearrange the equation of trajectory in a in a you know more concise form which can also be used in such uh, type of questions where you are given um, range okay so we re relate we also bring the factor of range in the equation how let's see so y is equal to x ten theta <coughs> minus gx square upon 2u square cos square theta if you remember range is equal to u square sin 2 theta upon g okay i can write it as 2 u square sin theta cos theta upon g just see just think about it if i multiply one cos theta on left hand side and right hand side so what i get is 2 u square cos square theta upon g into sin theta and why have i done this because this expression 2 u square cos square theta upon g is present here just see okay so this is the reason why i have done this so let's substitute this i can say this is equal to r cos theta or 2 u square cos square theta upon g is equal to r cot theta okay fair enough so let me put it here y is equal to x ten theta minus x square upon r cot theta now you can see a very good expression is emerging this is also capital x like this so if i this cot theta is nothing nothing but 1 upon 10 theta so if i take one x ten theta common i will get 1 Minus x by r is equal to y. So this is another form of equation of trajectory. <coughs> another form of equation of trajectory. Now we can use this form in this question very easily because it is given to us that the range is r. Okay, so we know the range. it is asking us what will be the height when the projectile has move r by 4 in the horizontal direction so very simple so y y or the height will be equal to r by 4 angle is given to us theta so 10 theta minus r by 4 into r so this will be r by 4 10 theta into 3 by 4 So three upon sixteen are ten theta. This is the answer. Okay, very simple. So this is how you can use the equation of trajectory. You don't need to start from the scratch and um, solve for x and y. This is something that you need to remember. So for for a projectile, you need to remember the total time of flight, the maximum height, the range. and the equation of trajectory so in the next lecture i'll be uh, 
putting some light on some interesting properties of projectile okay like at what angle the range is maximum what are the um, uh, what are the uh, angles at which if i throw with the same velocity i'll get the same range and how to find the um, velocity of a projectile at some general angle theta so if you're throwing a, a projectile from the ground at theta and at some general time the angle becomes alpha or beta how to find the velocity directly without going into the equation of kinematics these are some of the things that we'll cover in the next lecture okay so stay tuned and if you have any doubts please do ask in the comment section subscribe uh, put your comments like the video and uh, and if you have any other demand any other topic on which i should make a video feel free to ask okay so stay tuned let's meet in the next lecture goodbye